President Abdel Fattah Hassisi received a phone call from the Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte. Presidential spokesman Ahmed Fahmi said that the call dealt with the latest developments in Gaza. President Assisi stressed the need for an international community urgently moving to reach a ceasefire in Gaza. In this respect, the President reviewed the Egyptian efforts to deliver aid to the people in Gaza to ease their suffering. For his part, the Netherlands Prime Minister hailed the Egyptian role in delivering aid to Gaza as well as evacuating the foreigners. Foreign Minister Samah Shukri held phone talks with the Finnish counterpart Elena Valtonen. During the telephone conversation, Shukri reiterated calls for the international community to support an immediate humanitarian truce to save the Palestinian lives, sustain unimpeded aid delivery, and stop the Israeli violations against the civilians in Gaza. Separately, the top diplomat exchanged the views with the British counterpart James Cleverly on the ongoing war in Gaza. They agreed on the importance of implementing humanitarian truce in Gaza in addition to a sustainable access of aid to the Gaza Strip. Egypt announced that it would help evacuate about 7,000 foreigners and dual nationals from the Gaza Strip through the Rafah border crossing. During his meeting with the foreign diplomats, Assistant Foreign Minister Ismail Khayrat said that Egypt was preparing to facilitate the reception and the evacuation of the foreign citizens who are representing more than 60 nationalities. The health ministry said that 21 wounded Palestinians were brought out for the treatment in the Egyptian hospitals and 344 foreign nationals, including 72 children, also passed through the Rafah border crossing. North Sinai Governor Mohammed Abdul Fadil Shusha inspected Al Arish Public Hospital. Shusha called for providing efficient medical care for the wounded Palestinians. The governor said, although the Governorate Hospital's capacity was about 300 beds, it would receive about the double of the number through providing additional rooms. The governor said that Bir al Abd Hospital had received 49 Palestinians so far. Minister of Trade and Industry Ahmad Samir stressed the keenness on supporting all the firms that seek enlarging investments in the Egyptian market in a way that transports the latest technologies, boosts domestic industries and provides job opportunities. The minister's remarks came during his meeting with the director of the Italian company for leather products in the attendance of the advisor minister for the industrial projects, Kemil Hilel. Samir reiterated that the Italian company is planning to implement a productive project during the upcoming period at the investments value of 10 million euros that will provide 2,000 job opportunities. Egypt's stock market indices continued its gains being bolstered by the purchasing operations by the Arab and the foreign investors. The main EGX-30 index soared 0.92%, the smaller medium EGX-70 index added 2.49%, the more expanded EGX-100 index added 2.12%, the overall transactions and dealings within the session reached £17.5 billion.